guys, it's Audrey and welcome back to my channel. Please ignore this background and lighting because I completely forgot to film an intro and outro. So today I'm filming a holiday party at Rudy with me. I'm actually like literally about to leave to go to this holiday party, but I just showed you how I did my makeup and my outfit. And I have seen a few of these videos and I really wanted to recreate them because I thought it was a cute idea. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any video requests or anything you'd like me to reply to. And if you're new, hi, I'm Audrey. Welcome. Please hit the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And I will see you in the video. So to start off with the makeup, I'm going to brush out my brows and fill them in. So I haven't been filling them in much, but when I'm going out, I still like to. So after I do that, I'm just going to brush through them once again make sure there aren't any harsh lines. I'm going to take some concealer to prime the lids. So I'm going to like a holiday party slash welcome to my new house and meet my new fiance. So that's exciting. And honestly, concealer works so good for this. You really don't need eyeshadow primer in my opinion. And blend it all over my lid just so it sets and doesn't crease. So in my Tarte palette, I'm going to go in with Natural Beauty and Force of Nature, which is like this purple and pink color. And on this Elizabeth Mott blending brush, I'm just going to blend those into my crease. And I actually really like these tones because they're like purpley pinky, but not super bright. Like they still look like a neutral kind of. I'm going to go back in with a fluffy brush and like kind of blend out the edges just so it's nice and blended. And now I'm going to go into this little tiny thing. It's just a Maybelline thing that I've had forever. And I'm going to use this burgundy tone. I'm going to put some of that on the outer corner. So that's basically it for the eyes. Very, very simple, but that's kind of what I've been digging lately. So now I'm going to curl my lashes and it looks super creepy, so I hate showing it. So now I'm going to be using this Superhero It Mascara. This was the free birthday gift for like December so from Ulta, so I've been using this and I like it pretty much. It's not the most volumizing, but it's really lengthening. And at first I didn't like it at all, like it was really weird looking, but I feel like the first time I use the mascara I never like it unless it's like amazing. Because I have to figure out how to kind of work with it. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a flat brush and just take this matte like pinky white color and pop it under the brow bone. going to blend this out with my beauty blender. I should probably get a new one of these. I've had this for quite a while now. So I blended out all my concealer, but now I'm just going to pack on some powder. I'll get in the center of my face. I really need a brush. I know like no one uses these and it's really weird to use it, but you know, it works decent and I need like a powder brush that's kind of dense. So with this like smudger brush, I'm going to go back into those first two shades that I used in my crease and just smudge it out down here. I like this on the bottom lashes a lot more because it's more volumizing, like I don't really want length on my bottom lashes, you know? And now on to the rest of the face finally. So I'm going to be using this, my Ciate London. I'm putting it on my face. So now I'm going to be using this Tarte blush. It's just this little one and it's in the color Parte. It's like a special blush for the 2017 birthdays at Sephora. I got it for my birthday. It's a little light for me, so it's not the best. Like, I feel like you have to use a lot of it, kind of. Which I was surprised because, like, I thought these were supposed to be really good. 
which they are good, but it's just kind of a light color. Eh, that worked pretty good, actually. And now for the most exciting part of this entire look, I'm going to be using the Becca Champagne Pop. I'm going to be using this on this brush. It's the Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. So I'm going to be Ooh dang, oh dang, oh dang. I went heavy. Oh god, I'm gonna need to blow that out. Good thing I didn't apply the liquid underneath because I was about to, but I was like, nah. And lastly, we're going in with this NYX Butter Lipstick. I actually really like the formula of these, and I'd like to maybe get a few more. I like to kind of just put some on the center of my lips. And... Rub it out. So that is it for the look. I'll put in some clips of the final look, like, with better lighting and stuff. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I think it came out really pretty. Perfect for like, I don't know, holiday time because it has the cranberry tones in there, but it's not too much. So yeah, now let's get on to what I do with my hair and the outfit. enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up comment down below any video requests or just anything you'd like me to reply to and if you're new hi i'm audrey welcome please hit the subscribe button it would mean the world to me and next time i see you it will be the 26th so happy or merry early christmas and i will see you on the day after christmas bye guys